we talked a lot about nutrition and, and overall health. What role does genetics play in that big picture, whether it be related to our nutrition or, or other things? So, uh, you know, all smokers don't get lung cancer. And what that tells us is that there's a genetic predisposition. Does that say that uh, smoking is, is, you know, is good or bad? I mean, smoking's bad for everybody, but then why doesn't everybody? I had an uncle that lived to be whatever, smoked the bad. Okay, well, there's, a, there's, a, there's certainly genetic factors. So, but, but so what I, usually when I hear that, though, is oh, I, you know, I have a you know, family history of heart disease or something. Well, that just means you have to eat even healthier than everybody else, right? I mean, that means that, you know, you, some people can get away with, kind of, you know, not eating so great. But for you, you have to eat exquisitely healthy to combat that genetic predisposition. So if anything, um, you know, people, family histories, people, you know, are, are more susceptible. Then they just have to eat healthier than kind of everybody else. Um, but it doesn't make the food, you know, less or more. I mean, it's just foods are, are health promoting. They're not health promoting. Um, and it's just that there's a, you know, kind of a bell curve of genetic susceptibility. So, for example, there's a Nobel Prize. Brown Goldstein went to the discovery of the LDL, this cholesterol receptor. Some people are able to clear cholesterol and fat out of their blood better than others. So some people can eat 10 eggs a day and not bump their cholesterol at all, um, uh, whereas other people, you know, even just you know, less than an egg a day can really push up their, their cholesterol. So there's this bell curve. Um, and so, look, so that's why we, you know, can, you know, can, can tailor diets um, to, you know, people's particular biochemistry. Um, uh, but, I mean, in general, I mean, but the same, so it's either, foods are either less bad or more bad, right? But it's not like for some people, bacon is awesome, and for other people, it's not good for them. And that's not how, it's just... Um, uh, they may be more or less genetically susceptible to the cancer-causing effects, or et cetera.